What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to TTP Ravens Media, bringing Ravens content every single day. If you want to stay to the Ravens content, make sure to subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell as well if you want to get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. I apologize for the late video tonight. However, it is going to be a bit of a preview for the Cleveland Browns game tomorrow. Make sure to come to the live stream before and after the game. We always try and start about half an hour to 45 minutes uh, to maybe even an hour before the game. Um, and then right after the game, we try and go as quickly as possible. Um, and we, we answer any questions that anybody has. We give our, our game predictions and, and full game uh, player predictions and, and what we think the matchups are going to be and, and a lot of other things. So make sure to come to that if you have any questions about that type of stuff. We will absolutely talk about it myself and Joshua. But in this video, I want to do something. I want to look at how the Ravens can look at their victory against the Cleveland Browns two weeks ago and improve upon it so that they can beat them again. Because if you didn't know, the Browns had a bye last week. Um, so the Browns are going Ravens, bye week, then the Ravens. They get an entire extra week to just completely look at the game that they just played because it's going to be the exact same team. Uh, in back-to-back -back games. So the Ravens got to figure out, okay, what are the Browns going to look at in this game or what are they going to um, take as something that they can build off of? And the first thing is, is Lamar Jackson's interceptions. In this game, uh, Lamar Jackson threw four interceptions, still got the victory, but he he was – they weren't all his fault. I think a lot of Ravens fans know that. Some of them weren't great throws, uh, but they, they didn't have to be intercepted. Uh, but there were some great plays by the Browns defense. And I think that's the biggest thing that they need to, that they are going to try and work on is making sure that they can get Lamar Jackson to be throwing um, these passes that have a chance at getting intercepted, whether it's off of um, Mark Andrews, it going through his arms and end up getting intercepted or, or whatever it is. They want to maximize those opportunities. The Ravens need to make sure that they are not putting Lamar in those situations. So when the Cleveland Browns are, are sending a zero blitz, have some rally. I feel like every time I make a video, it's just talking about stopping the zero blitz. That's it. I mean, the Ravens just need to have a plan so that they're not throwing the ball up, uh, throwing the ball into situations that could get intercepted and, and making sure that they're able to do enough, you know, to, to get the win. But that that's kind of like the first thing is like, you know, obviously don't turn the ball over as many times as the Ravens turned it over. The second thing is that the Ravens, they played excellent rush defense. Excellent rush defense. Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt were both held to 20 yards or less on the ground, which is phenomenal. And this was, I believe, going into the game, the Browns were the number one rushing attack in the NFL. No longer are they because the Ravens completely stifled their run game. Ravens got to make sure that they continue that success. Because if you look at you know how that game played out, they were averaging 2.4 yards per carry that's not going to get you first downs. And they were forcing Baker Mayfield to have to throw. He threw the ball 37 times, only completed less than 50% of that. So those are the ways that the Ravens are going to win this game is by forcing them to not rush the football. Because the one time that the Browns have beaten the Ravens under, underneath Lamar Jackson was because they ran all over them. So the benefit of this game is even though the Ravens just lost some significant pieces to their defense, not just Marlon Humphrey, but also uh, they lost our Darius Washington as well. They've lost Brandon Stevens um, to beat the Browns. It's not about stopping the pass as much as it is stopping the run. Got to make sure you can tame not only Nick Chubb, but also Kareem Hunt, who played his first game back was that return um, against the Ravens uh, where he was only getting. 20 rushing yards. So the Ravens got to make sure that they are able to stop the run. And then in the passing game, the way to beat Baker Mayfield is you make it have situations where you know that they're going to pass the ball because that's when they struggle. Baker Mayfield is an excellent quarterback when it comes to the play action game. If, if the defense is expecting run and they run a play action, he's going to hit the guy and he's going, and he's a terrific quarterback at that. That's why he got drafted because they knew, Hey, we have a run game, right? That's what we're going to build up. We're going to have a run game and offensive line, and we're going to get our quarterback out of the pocket and make a big throws. And that's what Baker Mayfield can do. However, if we're able to stop the run and you force them into third and 10, you know, he's passing. And he's not as good from the pocket because he, he is a smaller guy and he likes to kind of get outside so that he can make those throws, have a little bit better vision and be on the move. And that's where he's a better player. Um, so got to make sure that you, you're you able to stop the run. I mean, that is a, is a massive part of this game. Um, and then the final thing is just, you know, you got to make sure that you weather the storm. All right. This game's being played in Cleveland. 
the Ravens obviously are coming off of a, a difficult loss against the Steelers, but it seemed like the Ravens games, every single one this year has been a game of momentum. All right. The Ravens are yet to play a game where they played the entire game. Well, they haven't done it yet. In my opinion, they've played games where they've had great stretches. For example, the Colts game, second half, terrific. They need to make sure that when they're not playing good football, they can continue to believe that they will end up playing good football. And that's kind of been this team all year long is they start off a little bit slow. Then they're able to ramp it back up. If they start, even if they start out fast and they start allow Cleveland to start coming back, got to make sure that you get back on track because the, this team is, a, this is a very, very roller coaster type team where sometimes they're playing like the best team in the NFL. And then sometimes they're playing like, who the heck are these guys? Are these guys even NFL players? Like nobody's trying or anything like that. Um, and we saw that in the fourth quarter against Cincinnati this year, where it just looked like what happened? Where are the professional athletes getting paid millions of dollars? So that's the kind of biggest things that I think that the Ravens um, should take away from that game is make sure that they can stop the run, keep Lamar Jackson from being in situations where he could end up throwing interceptions. And then finally, just weather the storm. If, if they start playing better, if Cleveland gets hot because Cleveland can get hot, make sure that you keep fighting because eventually it'll die down and you'll be able to keep going, keep scoring some points. But let me know what you guys think. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Subscribe for Daily Ravens content. And I will see all of you again tomorrow in the pregame and postgame streams.